What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. It is 6pm on Saturday and let's hope for some new things to do in this game. Let's start with milestones for today, why not? No, oh, there's nothing new. Let us uh, then move to objectives. There is nothing new, just the uh, Mukieli and Silver Stars, as you do. And so then let's go and have a look at SBCs and see what there is going to be for today. Come on, give us something good. Yes, that Anaki Williams was already good. Wow. Pierre Koundé Malong, 83 rated Bundesliga CDM. Defy the norm for a rare gold pack. And that's it. So no League SBC again. So we've got this guy, Rubric. His card looks sick. Four-star weak foot. Good pace. Shooting and long shot. Shot power and long shots are very nice. Short passing and long passing is nice. Dribbling is fairly well-rounded. His defending and physical is brilliant. What is his base card? What, what does his main card have for Malong here? Let's go Malong. So he was a 76 rated CDM. They seem to have boosted. Dev oh, they've reduced his pace by five, but boosted his defending by 14. And then his physical by six, his dribbling by, uh, by seven, his passing by eight and his shooting by seven. So it's like a plus seven upgrade. Um, and, and on top of that, it's, uh, on top of the plus seven upgrade, it's like the, the the pace and defending has been flipped around. This is a really nice card. It's two segments to complete, which is surprising. An 83 and an 85. That's fairly expensive, you know. That is going to be fairly expensive. A mixed players pack and a gold players pack to return. The gold players pack's okay. Um, and then we've got the other Defy the Norm SBC for a rare gold pack. And this one's going to cost you... 65 oh that's it oh I like that 65 overall team rating but 75 and higher overall rating minimum two players from one club minimum three rare players minimum two leagues maximum three so if we just go to the premier league and take a goalkeeper let's say let's say southampton and you know what? Let's put the Southampton goalkeeper in here. Let's put in the Southampton centre-back. I'm certain we'll have one. Certain we'll have one. Surely we're going to have one. Probably would have been easier just to go to Southampton, wouldn't it? There we go. This guy here. Oh, I'm Vestergaard as well. There. Right, so that's pretty good for the overalls. For the overall. Now we need two rare players. So I don't really have that many bronze players on this account, unfortunately. And we need a lot of chemistry. So I could go with English players. Let's pop him in. Let's just go all English. Let's just go for our lowest possible rated English players. And clear this one out. And this is for a rare gold pack. So we'll put Davies in. Stevens in. Um, we do need one more rare player. Um, don't really want to use Jack Grealish. Rare players minimum two. So that's all I need is just a, a rare a rare English right back or a rare player. Fredericks is okay. He's mad cheap anyway. So that is... Oh, wait, hold on. We still need to put in another player. Just kidding. Um, I probably just want any right wing, don't I? Yeah, let's pop him in. No, league's max three. So we don't want him. We want to get another Premier League player. So club... Same from one club is minimum one. League's max three. Do you know what this is going to do again? This is going to make English, not English. This is going to make silvers and bronzes from certain leagues that are in footbin solutions go through the roof again. Which is great because it just again validates bronze pack method and how it works. So let's go and open that pack. I am going to build that Malong card. But let's open this. Let's open the promo packs that are there as well to hopefully get some players to, towards um, completing him. And we get ourselves no walkout, but we do get a board. That's always nice. Italian. Goalkeeper. It was uh, 84 Sirigu, wasn't it? It would have been nice if it was the 85 Donnarumma. But it's not. It's 84 Sirigu, who is tradable for me, which is nice. 
We get rid of those items and let's have a look at what the uh, pro packs. Oh my god, EA have gone all out on these promo packs. Eight primes, five. Hey, let, let's let's get into them. Let's get into them. Boards to start with. It's an inform. It's a Spanish inform. A goalkeeper. It's just an inform, but hey, it counts. It counts. Thomas Party in there. Oh, what a pack. Thomas Party and Inform and Arthur. That's really nice. The 83 raid squad. That 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 CDM. It's going to be really interesting to see how it plays in game because he's got really good stats. It's just whether or not that translates to playing really good in game or not. A Dutch board, left mid. Spurs is Bergwijn. I don't even know if he's worth anything these days. I, like as far as Premier League left mids go, he's not like he's not the guy. We get Nacho in there as well. Nice to get a nice uh, Thomas Party's twenty five k. That's not bad. Yeah, rule breakers. Uh, rule breakers are very expensive. That's I, maybe that is why they released this. Wow, we don't get anything out of that. Let's see about Malong's um, price coming in as well, if we can. Oh god, that's a full duplicate pack. So Defy the Norm is coming in at like 4k, which is great. Um, outside of that, Anaki Williams at 100k. All blue. Anaki Williams at 100k, I think, is a bargain. French. Right eyes, Pavard. Oh, no, wait, it's not. It's Mukiele. Um, yeah, I, I think Anaki Williams for 100k is an absolute bargain. I, I would urge everyone to do it. And that's an 84 and an 85 rated squad. So an 83... And an 85 rated squad. You're probably looking at somewhere around like the 70 to 8. Walk out! 70 to 80k mark. Inform walk out. Brazil. Don't know who it is. Go oh, it's Edison. Hey, that's nice. That's a good card to get, that is. Big 89 Edison. He'll come in super handy for when we've got a... Uh... Ooh, Dembele as well. Yeah, he'll come in super handy when we, when we need to use a big inform for like Icon SBC or something like that. Um, And yeah, so... As I say, Malong's there for seven days as well, which is always nice. His price hasn't come in yet. We get another board here. And these packs are... Oh, don't be a centre mid. Striker could be good. Never mind. It's it's never Martinez, is it? It's always Higuain. Apart from for people that it's Martinez for. Oh, there is your main man there as well, Malong. He's got not a terrible card to start. I love the fact that once again, EA have chosen... Just some really obscure player to do this with rather than the traditionals that we always see. Even for flashbacks, I know Witzel has had like multiple flashbacks and whatnot. But Koscielny, I, I don't know if this is his first ever um, non-performance based special card. But it's definitely one of just a few non-performance based special cards. So if we go look at his generations real quick... So he had a footmas card back in FIFA 18. And other than that, he's never had... Is that a... Yeah, um, Schmeichel. Other than that, he's never had a non-performance-based special card. So I don't mind that at all. That's not bad for Koscielny. And uh, yeah, taking this Muki... Uh, sorry, not Muki... Although Mukieli is another one for the, for, the, um, for the player to play for. But this Malong card... Oh, do you know what's really interesting now? You can link Mukieli and Malong together, can't you? Down that right-hand side. I could as well with Jaden Sancho as my right mid. That could be very interesting. I'd, I'd struggle to get other chemistry out of that. Now we've got five mega packs as well. I think I'll leave the premium gold player packs for the time being. But mega packs... Mega packs could be really, really good in general. If you're, if you're like... If you love packs and you just want to open packs, mega packs might be a good option. Because as per usual, when, when it comes to like pack value you get 36 items and the pack costs 35,000 coins right oh sorry 30 items and 35,000 coins so on average you only need to sell every item for about what like 1100 coins so if you get one decent player or one decent thing here or there like a hunter chem style or a shadow a camp to center mid or something like that it's there. There is. I mean, just literally, just like that. A Saul who's going to be good for us right now, and a Hradeki, the rare contracts and anchor chem style, and then even all these players that you'd be able to sell on a Real Madrid stadium theme that probably sells. The club anthem probably sells. 
mega packs might not be a terrible idea when it comes to spending coins on packs. I wouldn't say if you've only got like 70k, I definitely wouldn't say, yeah, go out and blow that on two mega packs because you'll, you know, the chances are you might only come back with 35, 40k off the back of pair of the pair of them. Um, but if you've got like a couple hundred thousand coins, it might be worth testing it out. You know, it might be worth saying, yeah, let me give it a shot. Let, let me open one mega pack, list up everything, try and sell everything and see what comes of it. Um, could, you know, might not be uh, might not be a bad shout. Here's our next mega pack. No walkout. We've only had one walkout from all of these packs so far. It was Edison, I suppose. Is that one out of Oh, it's Van Der Beek. I had to think for a second there. Van Der Beek's a good player. I've been using him in my uh, Road to Glory team. Well, so we've got their thousand coins, always nice. And then uh, all these players that can discard, um, always nice. And so one more mega pack, guys. And then let's go and build um, the Malong. Maybe I don't even build him. Maybe we just go and look at his uh, his stats on Footbin and, and go through it like that. Because I, 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 do, I do think he's a quality player, but I don't really need him on this account because this is my... Uh, this is my pay to win account. So let's, have they got some packs here? No. So uh, let's, let's open one or two. We'll open these until we don't get boards, basically. So it's on EA as to how many FIFA points I spend here. Well, that is technically a board. French is nice. CDM. Stad Rene. Every rare is a board of these, isn't it? So even though Insolvency is only 79 rated, EA are going to cheese me, aren't they? They're going to be like, oh yeah, you'll stop opening if you don't get a board. Here's 1077 rated uh, um, UCL cards. Next up. No no walkout, no board. All right, so there you go. So let's let's have a look, guys, at the um, the stuff that we've got going on here with Malong. So straight away, he is coming in at 14K here. And as I said, I know it's 60K or so for the 85 rated squads. Although, is that an 85 with an inform? Naki Williams is... No, just an 85 rated. And it's only 55 chem, whereas this other 85 rated has a lot more chemistry requirements. It's 75 chem. So it, it's going to be about 80, 70 to 80k in total for, for the Malon card. Now, in terms of how good his card is, obviously, as I said, he's, been, he's lost five pace. He's gained seven shooting, seven dribbling, eight passing, six physical, and 14, um, 14 defending, which is quite something. He hasn't been given any like obscure massive boosts. In general, this card is really, really good. Um, you could pop an anchor on him. You've got yourself a great CDM with a four-star weak foot and medium, medium work rates. You pop a shadow on him. He's got mad pace, great physicals, great defending, decent dribbling and decent passing. This is a good card. You could put an engine on him if you want to boost that passing. I personally wouldn't. Sentinel's not bad as well. Mad defending and physicals. Um, I would probably go with an anchor on him, to be fair. Great sprint speed with an anchor. Or, or a shadow, man. An anchor gives him brilliant defending and brilliant physicals with good pace. I think an anchor on this Malon card is definitely the one. Um, and then outside of that, Defy the Norm is coming in at like 3k, like I said. So that's where we're at for today, guys. I think uh, this is a good SBC. I, I, I think it's worth it. And, and once again, because you can now put him in with Mookie Elliott right back, who you can earn, it's, it's a good setup. And all I'll say as well to you guys, we didn't really delve into it much yesterday. Inaki Williams. Um, Inaki Williams has obviously two cards. For 100k for Inaki Williams, it's brilliant. I would urge you guys to take the, uh, the, the dribbling Inaki Williams. I would definitely take that. I mean, he gets a monster boost in dribbling. Look at that. Seven agility, 12 balance, seven reactions, ball control, dribbling, and composure, and loses the shooting. But the way this game works, this Anaki Williams, you put a hunter on him because that's what you'd have to do. He gets 98, 99, 99, and then his dribbling is not very good. Everything else is the same. Maybe you'd put a hawk on it and boost that physical up a little bit, but probably not. Because the only way you can boost pace and dribbling is with an engine, and that's not a big boost, and then you're boosting passing, which is irrelevant. So if you go with the dribbling and Aki Williams boost and then apply a Hunter Kemp style to him, it's a much better card. Top tier pace, brilliant uh, dribbling, great finishing and good physicals as well. I absolutely would do this card in a heartbeat if you were thinking about it or I'm in an R and get it done. And then I would also go and do that CDM because it, it seems like 
EA are actually giving us worthy players for SBCs. You know, this Malon card. I like it. I do like it. I think it's decent. He's not like super, super meta, but he's definitely usable. A good Bundesliga alternative in the CDM role that they lack a little bit in. You know, you've got Kimmich and a few others like um, Lamer or uh, Alan Gies, who's obviously not very good. Um, who else have they got in that CDM role? They've got, yeah, there's Kimmich. Witzel, I suppose, if you didn't do him. Sabitzer, which you can't get yet. Goretzka, who's quite good, but this Malon card is up there. In my opinion, Zakaria as well. Zakaria's actually got uh, very, um, very respectable stats, hasn't he? His passing's not as good. His dribbling's not quite as good. His defending is not quite as good, but he's he's also not bad, to be fair. So anyway, that is going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.